First and foremost, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, this wouldn't be possible. Low Nose Boxing. Hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, subscribe. I want to apologize. Last night I made a video regarding the Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight, and the audio just went dead. It went dead, so I apologize for the video. Um, nevertheless, Ryan Garcia shocked the world last night. Ryan Garcia has officially entered the Fabulous Five. And you know I've been very hard on Ryan Garcia, right? A lot of times I've critiqued him and I've went out and said, Ryan Garcia is not part of the core four, along with Tia Fimo Lopez, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, and Javante Davis. But Ryan Garcia has officially stamped himself and has entered the Fantastic Five at the expense of Devin the Dream Haney. Ryan Garcia hurt Devin Haney several times in that bout. In the seventh round, he had Devin Haney out on his feet. It looked like the referee was rescuing Devin Haney, but regardless, Ryan Garcia got the victory. And I have to admit, man, I slept on Ryan Garcia. I slept on him big time. Ryan Garcia last night looks like the most explosive junior welterweight I've seen since the young Oscar De La Hoya. That left hook just comes out of nowhere. Ryan Garcia might be probably the second biggest one punch puncher between 135 and 140 behind Javante Tank Davis. It's gonna be hard for anybody to handle and defeat Ryan Garcia. And yeah, I already know um, Javante Davis defeated Ryan Garcia. Um, I feel that the Ryan Garcia from last night was not the same version that Javante Davis defeated. But regardless, Javante Davis does get credit and Javante Davis's resume has definitely aged like fine wine. Javante Davis probably has the second best resume right now behind Tiafimo Lopez. At first I would say Devin Haney does, but now I would say Javante Davis because he actually beat somebody out of the five, the fantastic five. And um, it's gonna be very interesting to see what's next for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia has options. He also stated that he cannot make 140, that whoever fights him has to fight him at a catch weight, maybe around 143, 145. But, um, you know, like I was saying, wins age well at times. And, you know, I like to go back to the past and give a demonstration, um, an example, because I'm a historian. Back in the day, Salvador Sanchez had took on Azuma Nelson, who at the time was a late minute replacement. Azuma Nelson was only 13 and 0. He put up a very gallant effort. He lost. He got TKO'd against Salvador Sanchez. And then um, I believe that was Salvador Sanchez's last fight before he passed away in a horrible car accident at the age of 23. Azuma Nelson went on to have an incredible career himself, Hall of Famer, a legend, and that turned out to be one of Salvador Sanchez's best wins, along with Rafredo Gomez and many others that he defeated. And I say that to say this, Ryan Garcia, despite the fact that he doesn't have a title, he, he, he basically um, brings truth to what I say, that at certain times, belts don't matter. Because right now, Devin Haney's belt has lost his luster. And that's the problem with boxing. We got too many champions. A lot of people will say, oh, if you're undisputed in a four belt era, it's better than being undisputed in a two or three belt era. I highly disagree with that. Because to hold down two belts, three belts, and con con consistently beat everybody else on that's on your um that's in your 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 rankings, it shows that you're the best fighter in that weight class. You know, it doesn't allow room for guys that's not on the highest level to slip in the cracks and become a world champion, sort of like Roley Romero. So right now, Ryan Garcia really doesn't need a belt because for me, he is a champion. He is a champion. And like I said before, it's gonna be interesting to see who Ryan Garcia is gonna fight next. Tiafimo Lopez, Subriel Matias, Javante Davis rematch, 
Devin Haney rematch. I mean, um, the possibilities are endless. 140 pounds, as I mentioned numerous times, is the best division in boxing. And Ryan Garcia, I always mentioned him among the best junior welterweights in the world as far as the top 10. But Ryan Garcia is up there in the top three. I got T.O., I got Ryan, and I got Subaru Matias, and of course, Isak Pitbull Cruz. So 140 is lit. Ryan Garcia has officially entered the Fabulous Five. He got a signature win. You can't call him a TikToker no more. You got to give him his respect. Ryan Garcia's next fight is probably going to do a lot of pay-per-view buys, depending on how this one did. Ryan Garcia has reinvented himself. Ryan Garcia has turned himself into Ryan the Troll Garcia. He reinvented his character, his gimmick. Sort of like Floyd Mayweather when he went into the Money Mayweather stage during the buildup for Oscar De La Hoya. Ryan Garcia has a fan base, not just a Latin fan base, but he has a social media fan base like the Jake Pauls. But Ryan Garcia is legit. Ryan Garcia versus Tiafimo Lopez. I'm going to go on the limb to say that's probably a close to a 50-50 fight. Because Tiafimo Lopez sometimes gets lackadaisical with his defense. Sometimes he jumps right in. He can't afford to do that with Ryan Garcia. Tiafimo Lopez shown that he's not the best fighter at coming forward. So if Ryan Garcia decides to fight on the back foot and learns how to use the jab while moving backwards, it'll be a tough fight for Tio. But I still believe that Tiafimo Lopez with the right game plan can get the job done and defeat Ryan Garcia. Subaru Matias, that's a tough fight as well. But once again, if Ryan Garcia connects on Subaru Matias, I can see him doing a lot of damage. And Subaru Matias has a great chance as well. If he can cut the distance and get inside Ryan Garcia and stay on his chest and break him down, he can win that fight that way. Because Ryan Garcia doesn't have really inside work. But regardless, Ryan Garcia is definitely a dangerous fighter. I'm not going to say he's as good as a young Oscar De La Hoya, but he's shown similar explosiveness with that left hook and fast combinations just like Oscar De La Hoya. He just doesn't have the, the, natural, the natural gifted fundamentals and the learning curve of Oscar De La Hoya. But once again, boxing is looking fantastic. And shout out to Ryan Garcia for entering the Fantastic Five. And shout out to Devin Haney for showing true, get, true grit, the heart of a warrior, hold your head champ, bounce back, just go back to the drawing board and um, work on some new things. With that being said, Hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, subscribe. Low nose boxing, cause low nose boxing, I'm out.